Hi, I'm Stanley and I'm a musician based in Israel. Today we're going to be talking about Steinberg's new and innovative technology called Note Expression and I'm going to show you my special way of using it. Now, what Note Expression allows you to do is to use each note as a carrier for its own automation, allowing you to assign individual notes with different automation even if they're stacked in a chord, a thing I like to call polyphonic automation. Note Expression is natively supported by 3.5 VSTs such as Steinberg's Pet Shop, Hellion Sonic, and Retrolog to name few, but you can still use non-3.5 VSTs with this method. Note Expression was designed to make life easier, and with this trick I'm going to show you, it'll make writing complicated automation parts much more intuitive. Okay, so here we are in Cubase 7, and I'm sorry that you can hear me on one side, but you're gonna live, don't worry. Okay, so, now, here we are, and we have this little project that I prepared earlier. It's kind of like a Romanian house thing. So, first thing we're gonna need is a synth capable of MIDI Learn such as Massive right here. And I've already made a preset, which I call the Funk. And now we are going to write our part. Fortunately for everyone here, I already wrote something, which goes like this. I'll just put it down a little bit. And with the bass. Now, without note expression, the only thing we can like do is automate the cutoff in the old way, which is... And maybe we can write some complicated stuff on the automation, but it won't be as easy as doing it with note expression. Now, my way is kind of different than what Steinberg intended because Massive does not natively support note expression, but since it has the MIDI Learn functionality, you can use it. So what we're going to do is we're going into our part here and we go to note expression. Now, we need to assign some parameters. So we're going to go to the MIDI controller setup and use a bunch of controls which are not already used, such as like pan, balance. So we're going to use stuff like uh, CC12, CC13, you can just add, add them inside. So I'm just going to take uh, CC, no, CC49 for this. So first thing I do, now that we have this selected, we can press any of the notes and just write automation. Now I'm using the Alt key. Now this is it's not it's not really doing anything because uh massive doesn't know that it needs to be controlled yet. So I'm going to allow massive to know that it's going to be controlled. So what I'm essentially doing is this is a virtual knob and it just goes up and down. And now that I'm going to send this information into massive and say MIDI learn, it's going to learn that knob. <laughs> and now we have it assigned so I'm just gonna go back and now I have direct control over that parameter so what I can do is just make make this a little more interesting now, there's a few things that you should know when using it this way, is that this last value over here will go over to the next note. So, uh, unless you change it, this is going to be the next value, 37. So you can hear, this is going to start from 94. 
Now, the there's another little tricky part that if you're going to use something else, let's say uh, CC47, you should uh, first allow Massive to learn it. So I'm just going to put a little note outside of uh, this arrangement here and I'm just going to write some stuff for Massive to feed from. So I'm going to control resonance with that parameter. Now I have it assigned and I can delete it. And now I can essentially control all these things together. So here we have in 47 we have resonance and 49 we have our cutoff. And if you press these buttons you should be able to see each uh, parameter. Each has uh, its own different color, maybe you can change it so you can see it better. There you go. Now we're writing the cutoff in red and the resonance in blue. So I already made a little part. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna undo all that stuff. And we're gonna compare the clean un n unnode expression d <laughs> part and the node expression d part. I'm not even sure that's possible um, grammatically. So let's try it. listen to the one I already edited. You can just change whatever. And the beauty of note expression is that wherever, wherever, sorry, wherever you take the note, it, the, the automation is going to go with. So, uh, not like in the old way that if you moved something, it just stayed in the same place. So, essentially, this is node expression, and this is how the whole track sounds like. Let's just check it out. And you can whack some facts and stuff and and this is it and now unfortunately it won't work with uh, if you have if you have effects uh, on the chain and that that are MIDI learn capable, they won't pick it up. I've tried, and uh, basically that's it. So go ahead and note express yourselves or whatever. This is Stanley. Goodbye. <laughs>